hand hygiene of course so we do this to prevent the spread of microorganisms and to prevent cross-contamination right then we wear our gloves since we have to uh, maintain the sterility of our medications and the syringes of course you can also use your clean gloves I have here a 5 ml or 5 cc of syringe which I will be using for intramuscular and subcutaneous. So we use this side here to open the needle or the syringe. Great. And first is I will show you how to draw medication from a file. Okay, so we get a wet cotton ball, cotton ball with an alcohol, and then you wipe the top area of the vial in a circular motion. Okay, just like that. There we go. So we do this in order to remove the bacteria or the microorganisms on the surface of the vial. Right, and then you discard on your face receptacle. So you get your. So let's open up this syringe using a one-hand technique to prevent us from puncturing ourselves and then say for example I will be administering a 3 ml of medication to our patient so what I will do is I will draw up a 3 ml of air this is actually okay because this 3 ml is we will inject this into our vial go. and then introduce this air into the vial um, this by doing so we are actually preventing the pre uh, sealed or pre vacuum that is sealed on the vial we will be removing or preventing the air from coming through the um, syringe which will actually hurt the patient so once you um, introduce air you flip your vial this way and then at eye level okay and then you will notice okay there you go you draw up some This is so that we can get an accurate measurement. There you go. Great. Okay. Also, also um, this needle that we use in aspirating the. Uh, medication from the uh, vial is actually a different needle that we will be injecting or we will be using in injecting the patient.
So we will be replacing the needle. And then if there you see that there is no um if you see that um you, there's still a bubble what you can actually do is try to remove the bubble there you go just tap it until the bubble is removed all right Just to make sure okay. You can actually do this There you go Alright, we're done So there are actually two ways of recapping Or recapping before uh, you to maintain the serality of this medication so you can do this all right but the safest is fishing so i'll show you how to fish okay, so this is fishing technique Tuberculin syringe for our intradermal, and what we are we will be doing actually is uh, we will dilute a 0.9 cc of sterile, sterile water to a 0.1 cc of medication that is used for our skin testing. So we draw up the sterile water first, and then followed by our medication. Um, this is because we want to avoid contaminating this sterile water because again a vial is actually used multiple times and this will be used for other medications or first this dissolution of other medications for other patients so we do not want to contaminate this with a different medication that should not be given to a different patient so we will remove the syringe first Point nine. Okay, so actually again this is to facilitate easy aspiration of the medication in the, from the vial and then introduce the air and then To draw the medication from an ampule since I do not hear I do not have here the actual ampule uh, we will just improvise so just think that this is the ampule okay uh, usually on the neck area of the ampule there will be a line some would actually have a dot the deck actually has a purpose it means that that is the most fragile part of the neck of the ampule so if for example the um the dot is here let's imagine so this dot should be facing away from the nurse and then you will be breaking the ampule like this okay but you do not use it or you do you do not do it with your bare hands you have to actually use an ampule breaker if you do not have an ampule breaker you will need to have your gauze pad so this is a gauze pad All right. 
so we do this to protect us from possibly wounding ourselves when we open a glass okay ampule so we do this like that okay so for example ampule actually has a uh, what we call a negative pressure inside that in such a way that even if you actually tilt the ampule the medication inside would not actually escape from the ampule which is a good thing okay, so in all right so here you go there are actually many ways on how to draw this one but the safest okay that you can do is this way so you can actually do this and then just this okay and then you can draw point one of medication okay like that some would actually do this Some would actually do this, which is also correct. Okay, like this. There you go. And then they'll draw. Either way, it's all good. As long as you are drawing the actual medication and the measurement is correct. So again, I see some bubbles. So let's just do this. Okay, and if and by the way, if you want to remove some excess uh, medication or some bubbles, uh, you can actually do this. Okay, or with the support. So I still have to draw some more. There you go. Now I am ready to meet my patient and administer the medications. 